So this is a severe left internal carotid artery stenosis in the cervical segment of the ICA that is being treated by baloangioplasty and stenting. The first step is to uh, navigate the distal protection device. In this case, uh, we use the filter wire easy 3.5 millimeter to 5.5 millimeter. Um, you can see the arrow that points uh, to the area in which uh, we are advancing the micro wire and now we will unsheath uh, the distal protection device that will be in place to protect from any potential uh, risk of stroke uh, during uh, balloon angioplasty or stenting later on. The uh, risk of uh, stroke or emboli uh, during this procedure is usually if there is a balloon dilatation done prior to the carotid artery stenting. Uh, so after the device is in place, now uh, uh, we're going to uh, obtain a new roadmap as we straighten the artery. You can see that we, uh, because of the wire that we have in place from the distal pitch segment of the ICA to the groin, the artery is a little bit more straight. Um, now we're advancing the stent uh, and we center it across the area of severe stenosis. In this uh, specific case, we use a uh, carotid wall an 8 millimeter by 36 millimeters uh, that goes from the uh, mid cervical segment of the le left internal carotid artery uh, being deployed all the way down to the distal uh, common carotid artery uh, on the left side. Uh, you're seeing the good expansion of the stent. Uh, it's a self-expanding stent. And, and that has still has a little waist in the middle, and that's why we're performing balloon angioplasty using a sterling 4 millimeter by 20 millimeter balloon microcatheter. We do uh, balloon dilatation, looking under fluoroscopy, always watching for any uh, bradycardia or asystole, which can sometimes occur due to the carot carotid body. Uh, and uh, now we are at the a uh, part in which we're retrieving the distal protection device and removing it from the body. It's very important on that uh, 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 we obtain control and geography. Uh, this is uh, looking in the cervical segment in which we see a revascularization of the uh, previously severely stenotic carotid artery and we also look intracranially to make sure that we didn't have any uh, distal uh, thromboembolic complication and you can see a uh, complete uh, even circle of wheelie opacification and a successful balloon angioplasty and stenting of the carotid.